hope you're all really well. Hope you guys are all having a lovely week so far. It is the most beautiful, sunny, frosty winter's morning. We've been getting a lot of these recently and I feel like when it's this weather, I just wake up and I'm like, it makes me so happy. I think Teddy's just caught himself in the camera. <laughs> I just saw him in the corner of my eye go, oh, like straight and rigid. Can you see yourself? <laughs> Coming to get a closer look. I need to see what I look like. <laughs> Teddy. Oh my God, guys. Can I ever film a video without Teddy just standing right there? Yeah, this weather is just, oh, it's everything. This is by far my favorite. Like I would choose a frosty, winter January morning over a hot summer day in June I know some people may think I'm crazy for that statement but I just love it I think it's so it's just magical you know you know when like the frost is all glittery I love it um me and my friend Andrew whenever it's this weather we always send each other let me show you guys we always send each other a picture of like outside our windows and this morning it was so funny because I sent Andrew this and then he literally instantly sent me this one um and he said oh my god I was just about to send you this so yeah we just we like to share the um the weather with each other we're the same as well with moonlight like we <laughs> this is very random we always talk about how we love to go to sleep with like the curtains and blinds open so we can like see the moonlight um, glistening in. Anyway, very random weather ramble this morning. Um, today we are gonna have ourselves a very productive day. I am having a reset day today, which I promised myself in 2022, I would have more of these days where I just kind of like get everything done in one day instead of like putting it off or dividing bits and bobs throughout the week. I'm trying to just like compact it all into one day, everything I need to do to feel prepared for the week. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to start adding these days into my weeks and months. And I think it will overall just make me feel a lot more productive. So my to-do list for today, I currently have some washing in the washing machine. I stripped all of our bed and everything this morning. So we're gonna have fresh bed sheets tonight, which it's one of those little joys in life that I just really look forward to. I look forward to getting into like a beautiful clean bed with a crispy bed sheet. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. So I've got those in the washing machine. They need to go in the, um, can't think of the word, tumble dryer. I've got a few other washing loads that I'd like to do and get hung out today just so that's done. I haven't got to worry about washing for the next day until there's more. Um, I also as well have a big food shopping order coming this morning, um, but I need to pop over to Morrison's because there's a few bits that I couldn't get online that weren't available and I need them for the week. So I'm gonna go to Morrison's, get that done. Um, I really want to plan some new meals to try with the bits that I've got from the food shop. So I'm gonna have a look on Pinterest, get some new meal ideas. I feel like I can finally eat a lot more things now. Um, and my stomach is like a little bit back to normal so I can kind of like enjoy the foods that I was enjoying before. Um, I was pregnant so I'm excited to like try some new healthy recipes then also as well I really want to deep clean the fridge haven't done it since we moved in um because it, it just because it was a brand new fridge it didn't feel like it needed it but now it's got to a point where I'm like it needs a deep clean so I want to do that today um and then later on this evening, I'd like to have a nice relaxing bath, scrub off the remainder of my fake tan. Currently looking like a big old loaf of tiger bread. So I wanna scrub all of that off so that's nice and fresh. Um, I know this is really sad, but I kind of time my weekly bed sheet changing in with when I'm gonna fake tan. So what I'll do is I'll scrub it all off tonight so I'm like squeaky clean, put some nice moisturiser on, have a beautiful night's sleep with no fake tan on, um, fresh bed sheets and then I'll kind of like tan towards the end of the week when the bed sheets are going to need a wash again. Um, it's just one of those things. <laughs> And then this evening, I am going to make some chicken teriyaki um, bowls, 
with lots of veggies in and I'm going to make my own teriyaki sauce. So yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, also as well, today I want to do some meal prep. So I want to make some guac and some tomato salad because we have those with like a lot of our meals. So I figured that it would be good to make it all today in a big batch and then we can just kind of like get that out of the fridge as and when. Um, so yeah, very productive day ahead. Really looking forward to spending the day with you guys. And yeah, first things first, coffee and breakfast. <laughs> myself to a new um new year new water bottle <laughs> um do you know the actual reason i bought this guys this is really sad mm. it's not sad actually it's practical um my other water bottle didn't have the straw so it was like 2.5 liters my other water bottle and you had to really tip it up and the amount of times i tipped it down myself was just getting too much um and because i've <laughs> this oh my god i can't believe i'm saying this out loud because I've been laying down a lot <laughs> during my pregnancy and I go to bed at 7pm, fall asleep at 8 and like, I'm just like laying a lot because sometimes I feel so sick I can't stand. Um, it was kind of frustrating me that I couldn't drink laying down because I was finding it really hard to like drink water. But with my straw, I could kind of like lay and sip and it was so much more convenient. So yeah, I decided to get a new water bottle. And also I've read as well, a lot of people saying they're labour essentials. I know we're a long way away from labour yet. But labour essentials are a water bottle with a straw. So I just thought I'm just going to get one. It was from Amazon. I think it was like £15. Um, but it's brilliant. And I know this sounds really silly, but the straw makes me drink more. That also rhymes. So my loves, this part of today's video is very, very kindly it's sponsored by Casetify. You guys know I adore Casetify phone cases. I always have one on my phone, not only because they look amazing, but they also protect your phone. They have so many to choose from. You can personalize your case and they're always releasing new styles as well. So you can always kind of like update your phone. Oh, I have some new ones to show you guys today. And these are actually their new compostable phone cases and they can actually be dropped from up to 6.6 .6 feet with the ultra compostable cases and up to four foot with the regular compostable cases so your phone will always be protected that's why i love my case to my case like i said not only do they look cute not only can you personalize them and they have so many different styles to choose from but your phone is always protected as well also the new compostable cases are 100 biodegradable so i'm going to show you the new cases that i picked up also how cute are the gift boxes these are also 100 recyclable so case defy are really doing their bit for the planet which is amazing so the first one i got is this gorgeous neutral color i have personalized it with my name then i also got the iconic cloud print as well which i just think is so this is almost quite springy and i also as well got two plain cases so a plain black one and this black one as well and i've personalized it with my name as always you can customize your case you can add custom text or pick your favorite prints case if i have also partnered with earthday.org and they will actually plant a tree for every compostable case which is sold so my loves i will leave a link as always down below and if you click the link you will actually get 15% off your order. Just got home from Morrison's and our weekly online food shop has been delivered also. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick little haul of everything that I picked up. So I've got lots of vegetables really trying to add a lot of this into my diet um, especially now I can kind of like eat more normal foods again um, I'm just trying to get like a lot of healthy foods in 
so i got some watermelon fingers i also got some straws um, and also i love these mixed berries from mns blueberries and raspberries also as well one of my current obsessions i love anything that's like juicy and fresh at the moment um i love these big oranges so nice just like cut up um also sometimes make a freshly squeezed orange juice with these as well then i got some limes always have limes um, in the fridge because i cook a lot with these then i got some ginger because like i said we're going to be making chicken at teriyaki later and we need some ginger i also want to get back on making my lemon and ginger tonic because i love having that in the fridge um i got this blooming gigantic garlic i'm sure it was called like a spanish garlic some pak choy some big bacon potatoes so i can do tuna jackets or jacket potatoes with cheese um i wanted to get some bits to keep in the fridge and food cupboards that are just like really quick easy meals for nights that i don't really fancy cooking um so yeah we've got those and i also got some baby carrots tomatoes tender stem brock oh i found these I love edamame beans, um, especially when they're in the little pods. So these are frozen ones. And I was thinking I can just obviously keep these in the freezer and then get some out each day and sprinkle some salt on because that's one of my favorite snacks and I find not a lot of food shops do these. So I thought they'd be nice for little like picky lunches or to go in salads. I got some avocados, spring onions, peppers. Then I got this green vegetable medley. Again, this is for one of those nights where I just want like a really quick, easy dinner. Um, and these literally cook in like four minutes in the microwave. So I usually have this with um, a steak or some chicken and some potatoes. Just again, nice, quick and easy. I got some basil and coriander. I always like to have fresh herbs in the fridge um, because I do a lot of cooking with them. I have got a herb garden. <laughs> But it's, it's kind of um, frozen right now, guys. <laughs> Let me show you. It's completely frosted. Oh, no, it looks like it might be all right. <laughs> my mum kept telling me to cover it up, but um, I, didn't, I didn't listen. I feel like my parsley is a bit dead there. Um, so yeah, having to buy herbs at the moment because the herb garden has not been looked after. I'm gonna have to get some coverings for this. Sorry to quickly interrupt the grocery haul, but how blowing gorgeous is today. Oh, I nearly just slipped over. Oh my God, this is so slippery. Such a beautiful day. I love it in the mornings because the sun rises through these trees and turns the fields all golden. Oh, it's just beautiful guys. Absolutely love it. Where were we? Um, fridge bits, I got, these are my new favorite things. I've got an obsession for prawns at the moment. I just love them. I think I love, like, one of my pregnancy cravings is anything fresh and crunchy. <laughs> I know that's really strange, but I just love the crunch. Um, so I got these little snack pots, which are chili and coriander king prawns um, with edamame bean crush. There's like avocado and stuff in there, really fresh and nice. Um, I also got a little char-grilled chicken one. These are great for just like little lunchy bits. Um, I like to have these with some hummus and some pita. Then I also got some Italian pesto mozzarella. Planning on making healthy pizzas this week. Um, so you just get a tortilla wrap and then pop tomato puree on top. And then obviously all of your normal pizza toppings. And I thought these would be really nice on a homemade pizza. Then I also got as well... These roast potatoes from M&S are delish. And like I said, I like to have these with steak and some of the veggies. It's just one of those dinners that's like a chuck in the oven kind of dinner. Peppercorn sauce to go with the steak. I got some onion gravy um, because we've been having sausage and mash quite often. I feel like that's a really lovely like warming winter dinner. Then I got some creamy tzatziki, sour cream dip, um, and some selections of hummus here. Again, for picky lunches to go with pitters. I also got this bread. This is my favorite bread. This is what I had for breakfast this morning. The olive and basil sourdough. Oh my goodness, it's so yummy. Would highly recommend. 
Then I also got some mash, again, quick and easy dinner. Then I got some yogurts, these are my current faves. I love these ones and the honey ones. And I've got a bit of a thing for soup at the moment. Love having soup in the fridge. Um, again, quick and easy lunch, very filling and also healthy. This is one of the nicest tomato soups ever. Oh my goodness, it's so yummy with like a grilled cheese sandwich. And then I recently discovered this spicy tomato and lentil soup. Oh my goodness, I've got a new creation for this. So what I do is I have some of this in a bowl with melted cheddar and mozzarella on top. And then I get some um, nachos with some sour cream dip and I get a nacho, some sour cream dip and then I dip it in the top of the soup with the cheese. I'll have to show you guys sometime. And it literally tastes like a bowl of like, a bowl of delicious Mexican nachos. So nice, that is one of my favorite lunches at the moment. Here are just like cupboard top ups, um, some bits for making our teriyaki sauce tonight. I got some glacier cherries because I really wanna make a pineapple upside down cake soon. Um, so let me know if you'd like me to save that for a vlog and we can do it together. And I also got as well just some snacky bits. I got barbecue pop chips. We love these, especially in the sour cream dip. That is one of my favorite combos. And also got some sea salt and vinegar pop chips. Cereals galore because is there anything better than a late night bowl of cereals? Got special K red berries, um, cocoa pops, strawberry and white chalk. These are super yummy. And then I also got some marshmallow mateys. Saw these and just thought, they remind me of my childhood. My mum never used to let me have these. <laughs> so funny she never used to let me have these or lucky charms um it's probably because they're like riddled with sugar and e numbers but yeah she never used to let me have them so i'm just rebelling as an adult now okay moving on to this side i'm kind of scared to go near this side of the kitchen guys if you start to hear a trickle it's this new cat fountain that I bought and it has a sensor just there. So when you go past like here, it comes on. Um, lots of you guys have been recommending a cat fountain for a really long time because as you know, Tilly loves to sit here and drink out the tap. She absolutely is not a fan of the cat water fountain. I knew she wouldn't be. I feel like this is why I've never bought one before. Tilly is very much... Um, a very stubborn cat who is set in her ways and we set it up last night and I was like, please let her like it, please let her like it. She literally took one look at it and laid right next to the tap instead. Like, look how close these are together. She was laying there staring at the tap, like not taking her eyes off it when this was just like readily there for her, but she just won't. So kind of in the process of training her. So the plan is just training, training my cat not to drink out of the tap basically. Plan is not to put the tap on for her. It was breaking my heart this morning. Um, me and Jamie came down and she was sat there waiting and I was like, it took every inch of my being not to put that tap on for her. Um, but I really wanna get her onto the, the water fountain. So yeah, currently training my three-year-old cat to not drink out of the tap and enjoy the water fountain instead. Okay, last little bits over here. Freshly squeezed orange juice, some milk. Then I also got, oh my God, these prawns. These are what I was talking about. Oh my goodness. If you haven't tried the marinated chili and coriander king prawns, they are amazing. One of my favorite like lunches to have at the moment, this is so easy, is just some king prawns, some spinach, and some edamame beans. So nice, so fresh, and it's very like light as well. I like foods that feel nice and light on your stomach. Uh, I've, got, I've got a baby growing in there. There's not much room. I feel like there is not much room for food, so the lighter the food, the better. <laughs> got some pork and apple sausages, um, got some chicken breasts and also some chicken thighs. Then I got two fillet steaks. Then I also got as well, which I don't usually buy, but again, I was kind of thinking for one of those nights I don't fancy cooking and just want like a really simple dinner. I got these chunky cod fillets, which I was thinking we could have with homemade wedges and either beans or some mushy peas. And then I also, as well, got these chicken goujons. I really had a bit of a craving for turkey dinosaurs the other day. 
So I got these, which again, I thought could be nice. We could have them in a salad. We could have them in some wraps. Um, and yeah, just thought they looked yum. Also, something else I picked up from Morrison's are these. You guys know I've been craving Tanga Ice Last. And I saw these. I thought these were great because my hopes for these are they're going to taste the same as the Tango Ice Blast, especially the cherry and blue raspberry. Um, and you get loads in here. It's like a 40 pack. Um, and I thought it was great as well that they're not already in the freezer so I can kind of like keep them in the cupboard and then just add a few as and when to the freezer because I do not have a lot of freezer space. But yeah, excited to try these. Teddy, please have a look at the fountain. Look, look. Oh, how exciting. Go on. Look. Oh, he's more interested in the blooming sensor. He's like, I am not a performing monkey. Or is he? Oh. This is the closest he's ever got to the fountain, guys. I can't believe you are here with me to witness this. <laughs> Please, just one little lick. Go on, just one lick. Go on, Ted. Oh my God, I think he's going to. Oh. Amazon claims that cats can't resist. <gasps> oh, we got a pull. Oh. <gasps> Amazon claim on the advert that cats cannot resist this fountain. Is it true? <laughs> Is it true? I'm not sure. Oh, I think he just licked it. Come on, Teddy. Oh, no. I tell you what, Amazon, this cat can resist. I've got two cats right here that can fully resist that water fountain. <laughs> Okay, that is one load of washing done. Gonna go hang that upstairs in a moment. Um, I wonder if it would dry outside. I feel like it's a bit too cold. Um, I can't wait for it to be. As much as I love winter, the one thing about summer, this sounds really adult life right now, but the one, one of my, one of my main things I enjoy about summer is the fact I can hang my washing out and it's dry in about an hour. I feel like that is one of my my little joys in life. Um, so I'm going to pop my bedding in the tumble. I picked up these in Morrison's because I ran out and oh my goodness, if you guys have a tumble dryer, use these Lenore sheets. They are blooming incredible and they will just they make your bed smell so beautifully fresh for literally from when you wash them to when you wash them again like i leave my bed in about a week before washing it again so i do it weekly and oh they just smell so amazing so you literally just throw one of these in the tumble dryer and then obviously just pop your bed in in there as well i also got these from morrison's today which I'm gonna use on the next load of washing. And, oh, I feel like that might be my favorite, one of my favorite smells. It's like really, um, a really warm scent. Like it's very vanilla-y, very like perfumey. Like it smells like a Jo Malone perfume. And I got the scent boosters as well. So in my next wash, I shall use those. <laughs> shopping away this is something that needs to be done um so this is currently the before of the fridge 
everything is kind of just thrown in there at the moment. There is no like organization whatsoever. Um, so I think firstly what I'm gonna do is get everything out, decide what I wanna keep. Um, I should probably think there's a few things in here that are close to their use by date and need to go in the freezer. Um, or at the top we've kind of just got like loads of sauces and I know some of them are quite old. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of those. And also guys, look at this. <laughs> This has actually been here since the summer. This yogurt, we cannot get out of this. I don't think this is gonna be a today job, even though it is practically taking up like half the fridge, because I wanna get, obviously, all of the food that I've just bought in the fridge. Um, but I think one day, when I'm next to a food shop, I'll probably get everything out and defrost, like turn it all off, so this melts. Um, but yeah, that, that yogurt has been stuck in there for a long old time. So yeah, gonna get everything out and then we'll give it a good clean and do a bit of fridge organization. Here we have a very empty fridge. Um, I've got everything out, got all the bits that we're gonna keep on the side. Um, plan for now is, I'd probably say the vegetable shelf is the one that needs the biggest clean, but I'm gonna get all the shelves out um, and just wash them in the sink, because as you can see, especially the top one, because this is where we keep sauces, there's like some sticky, something sticky on there. So I'm gonna give all of these a nice big clean, and then once the shelves are out, I can really get in there um, with my scrub daddy. I feel like I really wanna try and get this off because it seems a bit pointless for me to do this and leave that there. But at the same time, I, I do wanna get all of this back in because this has been out here for about an hour now. Um, just a bit conscious of like the chicken and stuff. So, oh, I don't know. Would this come off? God, wow. I feel like if I could get something to like chisel it, Mm, oh, I'm not sure. We'll give it, we'll, we'll see if we can find something. Clean all of the inside bits of the fridge. I am gonna use my Flash Natural French Soap. This smells so good, I love this. And I'm gonna use this with my scrub daddy. And then once I have done all of the shelves and inside of the fridge with this, I'm then just gonna pop some of my lemon Zoflora on one of these cloths and then just like run over all of the shelves and stuff because I feel like that will make it smell really nice and again, give it another little disinfect. Guys, guess what? Tilly has actually started using <laughs> her hammock you know last week i said that teddy was the only one that went in here well the other night tilly claimed it as hers didn't you maybe you'll do the same with the fountain one day <laughs> we can remove the iceberg and the yogurt. <laughs> I have a knife. Don't try this at home. But I feel like, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Where's Jamie when you need him? No. Oh, I kind of, it felt kind of loose here. You know what, if I can just slip something down the back, it might just like pop it off, but, Wow, this beast has been growing for the past six months and it is well and truly welded in there. So I think I might just clean the fridge and then one day when, like I said, we don't have all the fresh meat and stuff, I will um, just let it defrost because I think that's gonna take quite a while to defrost.
damage all done, cleaned, and it's looking a lot better. Now, I know what you're thinking. It may not look like the most, you know, Pinterest organized fridge, but I've been down that route, guys, and it just doesn't work for me. Um, I remember, I think it was like this time last year, I bought the Lazy Susan. I bought all of the plastic containers and it just, I felt like it wasn't practical. I felt like the containers didn't really fit my fridge um, and it just got on my nerves not being able to, I don't know, I just really didn't get on with it. As much as it looks so beautiful and I envy anyone that has an extremely organized fridge, it just didn't, it didn't work for me. I felt like the containers and the Lazy Susan and stuff took up more room than it does like sacking things. So, yeah, I don't use any of that now. <laughs> so yeah, in the bottom here we have fresh veg. Then I've kind of kept this shelf as a bit of a meat shelf to keep all of that together. And it's easier as well because then um, every few days I can go through and just check that everything's still in date. And then if it's not, I can transfer it to the freezer. Then we've got fruit, um, easy food bits. So for quick dinners, like the mashed and potatoes and like microwavable veg. Then I've popped some drinks in here. I sorted through and got rid of a lot of sauces because some of them were just very, very old. Yeah, and then we've got a whole selection of cheese here. This is actually leftover from Christmas. We didn't end up having a cheese board at Christmas, so still got loads of cheese, which is all good until like mid-Feb. Oh, I feel good. I feel so good after doing the fridge. Um, I feel really relieved because it's a job that honestly guys I've been putting off for the part for months months and months and months um, and this is the whole point of me having these reset days what my plan is to do is any kind of jobs that need doing around the house instead of um, instead of putting pressure on myself like you need to do this this week and not feeling like it and then putting it off until the next week and then it being a vicious circle and me feeling annoyed at myself for not doing it. Any little tasks that I don't really want to do will be saved for reset days, which I will schedule in. I was going to say once a week, but I just feel like that's not realistic. And I feel like this year, another one of my little goals is not to set unrealistic um, tasks myself because they won't get done. Um, and then what happens is when they don't get done, I then spend the time being annoyed at myself for not doing it and it's just like a vicious circle and there's just a lot of pressure. So this year I've told myself we're not putting pressure on things, we're not worrying about things we can't control um, and we're setting realistic goals. So yeah, I'd probably say I'm going to have a reset day every two weeks, if not every two weeks, at least one a month. Just a really productive day um get stuff done day and yeah i'm feeling good and like most things in life it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be like once i got into it when i first started i did kind of have that thing in my mind where i was like this is going to be one of those jobs that i start and wish i never started like when i decide to have a wardrobe declutter and rip everything out my wardrobes and sit there with a million clothes surrounding me thinking, what have I done? Yeah, I feel good. I don't have the fear anymore of opening the fridge and something being rotting in the drawer or something falling out. So yeah, and for now is, I've ticked a lot of my to-do list actually, which feels really nice. Like I, I just feel very, very productive. Um, so I've done my washing, hung it all out, sorted the bedding out. Um, I've been to the shop, done the food shop, sorted the fridge out. Um, put all the food away. What I need to do now is there's just a few bits on the worktop that I want to get cleared away, like cupboard bits. Then I'm going to do my food prep, get that all ready for the week in the fridge. Um, and yeah, this is your sign, guys. If you struggle to get like things done, then try having a reset day. <laughs> I 
love to have in the fridge all week because we have it with so many different meals is a tomato salad. So I make this pretty much every day in the summer and we have it with barbecues. Um, it's just such a lovely fresh kind of like side dish, but this also goes really nicely with scrambled eggs. I have it a lot with that. It goes nice in a salad. It goes really lovely as well with um, like steak and potatoes and this tomato salad. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it because this is something I make every week for the fridge. So all you will need is um, a selection of tomatoes these need using up so I'm going to use up all of these and then a few coloured ones then you will need half of a red onion some fresh basil some salt and pepper and also some olive oil tomato salad all done and prepped I forgot to say this is amazing with little mozzarella balls you know the ones I bought in the weekly food shop with the pesto oh my goodness they are incredible in here um, I don't actually add any cheese to the prep because like I said I like to have this um, sometimes for breakfast sometimes for lunch sometimes with dinner but if you add mozzarella balls to it or even feta oh my goodness so yummy so you can definitely add more to this you could add cucumber you could have peppers but yeah love to have this in the fridge next i'm going to make homemade guacamole again this is something we have with so many different things we have it with eggs um we have burritos quite often and um poke bowls so it's a great thing to add into those so for my guacamole what i use is i'm going to use the other half of the onion so these are quite nice to do together actually because you can use obviously the rest of the ingredients i'm going to use the rest of the tomatoes um i like to use a whole lime because i like it to be quite um limey <laughs> and then i'm going to use two ripe avocados which need using also some coriander salt and pepper that is the tomato salad and guacamole made i am gonna try a little bit of the guac it smells so good it smells so lovely and fresh mm. yum that is so nice oh my goodness i just it oh, it's just so nice and fresh so these will keep in the fridge probably for about four days um, I wouldn't leave it longer than that because everything can tend to just go a little bit soggy but we usually eat these up within kind of like two three days anyway um, with the guacamole it doesn't go brown because avocado if you if you cut it and then leave it it can go brown but because there's quite a lot of lime juice on there it just preserves it um, and stays really nice but yeah, like I said, amazing to go with breakfast. Both are so nice with eggs, even together. They both have totally different tastes. Um, so you can have a bit of each. Also really nice with, like I said, in salads, in poke bowls. Um, nice for picky lunches as well, like with hummus and pita and like um, bits and bobs on the side. I feel like they're just really easy, healthy, fresh meal prep bits to have in the fridge. <laughs>
bath, got ready for bed, and I've just finished prepping tonight's dinner. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm making teriyaki chicken bowls for dinner, which I've been looking forward to all day. So I've just prepped everything. Um, tonight we are having, obviously I have got a mixture of chicken here. This is um, chicken thigh and breast, a little bit of both. And I've just popped two tablespoons of corn flour in with the chicken and given it a good stir. This just helps the chicken become nice and crispy, almost like gives it a bit of a coating. Then I've also chopped up some pak choy, um, half a red onion, some tender stem brock, and then some fresh ginger and also a clove of garlic. And then I also have some rice over here. I've just boiled the kettle. So we are ready to get started on dinner. First things first, I'm going to brown my chicken in some olive oil, and then I will show you guys how to make the homemade teriyaki sauce. Okay, for the teriyaki sauce, um, super easy and simple and again something else that's great for meal prep because you can make it um, and use it as like a dipping sauce or as a bit of a marinade for lots of different meats. I feel like this goes nice with beef, with salmon. I'm going to make quite a lot because I'm making double the amount of like the chicken and everything so we can have it tomorrow as well. I usually do that with meals so um, like tomorrow's dinner is sorted. So first thing you'll need is some light soy sauce and we need four tablespoons of this. Then you also need four tablespoons of honey. It seems like a lot, but like I said, I'm making a lot of the marinade because it's pretty much double. If you are just making this for two of you, maybe just use half of the ingredients that I'm showing you here. Then you need two teaspoons of sugar. I like to use light brown sugar. Then you need two teaspoons of Chinese rice vinegar. And then I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic that I chopped up earlier. I like to chop this quite finely because otherwise you get a big, big mouthful of garlic. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And then I'm also gonna add some sesame seeds. It's completely up to you how many of these you use. Um, it just adds a nice little crunch to the sauce. And then last but definitely not least, you need four tablespoons of water. chicken is all cooked and looking nice and browned. I'm going to turn the heat of this right down to about two. Um, I've also got some sticky rice over here. I always just make my sticky rice. I don't know if everyone else does this or buys actual sticky rice because I know you can buy the specific sticky rice. I literally just add like triple the amount of water that I normally would and yeah it goes really nice and sticky. So once I've turned the heat down on this, I'm going to add the teriyaki sauce and then I'm going to lay the vegetables on top and pop the lid on and leave it to simmer for about 5-10 to 10 minutes and the sauce will thicken up because of all the corn flour on the chicken and it will give the veggies a chance to steam. Mm. away and I am going to take myself up to bed. 
I'm so tired this evening. It got to about six o'clock and my brain felt like it stopped working. Um, I just feel like a shell of a person right now. So I'm gonna head up to bed. Um, I've started watching Afterlife on Netflix, just kind of like here and there, like when I'm doing a bit of like computer work. And I think I like it, I'm not sure. It's one of those that I feel like, because I've had it on in the background, I haven't really paid attention to it. Um, but probably gonna pop that on and get an early night as always. But yeah, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. It's been a really productive one. Feeling good going to bed. Like I feel like I've had a really productive day and got lots done. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy spending the day with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>